reaching forward to something. You're not really sure what it is, but you know that it's going to be good. And it, it was this moment of sort of claiming a victory, you know, like just saying, we're going to go, we're going to, we're going to go and do what we're meant to do. And even though you, you can't really see it, it's sort of believing before you see, which is, you know, it's not always easy to do. I listened to a band called Alt J a lot during this record, and I, I think it kind of was taken a bit out of context because people thought <laughs> our new record was going to sound like them, which it won't. Um, <laughs> Sorry. But I love that band so much. They're amazing. But we listened to a ton of stuff over this record. I think each of us like has, you know, we share similar influences, but a lot of different stuff. But I don't think that there was anything, any main yeah. influences or anything, um, except for just pure rock and roll from our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> between the three of us we all like so much different kind of music anyways I think that we were just pulling from all over the place when we were writing this record and when we were recording the record too um, I mean for me personally every day on the way to the studio I was listening to this station on like a satellite radio station that played New Wave and a lot of like you know everything from The Cure and Susie and the Banshees to like Oingo Boingo um, and, and it's funny because I think our producer JMJ grew up on a lot of that stuff so um, we really connected on that and I don't know everyone just kind of had you know no one really said no to anything we were kind of open to our influences and to you know whatever inspirations that we had and um, it made the whole process really inventive and exciting every day yeah we have the most unbelievable fans in the whole world uh, that, that you know ins constantly inspire us and keep us going every single day and uh, I think the most amazing thing that literally that we could I don't know that we've heard is, is hearing that our music has maybe saved someone's life or completely you know taken them out of a really dark place because I know there's some there's so much music that has done that in a form for us and so the fact that we can be that for someone uh, is incredibly like humbling and Amazing. So we just hope that we can continue to make um, connections with people like that. I was, yeah. I was going to mention trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> One time they gave us a trampoline. Yeah, man, we bounced for hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Okay. <laughs> I got given the demo for airplanes at a show that we had in New York, and I like popped it in my computer and the guys, like, all of us were listening to it, and everyone was just like, this is so good, what is this, and I was like, well, I mean, they're asking me if I, you know, if I want to collaborate, if I want to sing on this, and pretty much before I even decided, all the guys were like, you have to do this, this is so cool, and it really encouraged me to, you know, not be afraid to step out and try something new, and I, you know, I grew up listening to pop music and a lot of R&B music and hip-hop, so it was just really fun to you know, go there for a minute, and Bob was so cool, I mean, we're still all really close friends with him, and, uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I was surprised that I was accepted into that whole pop, hip-hop realm, it was just really fun, but, uh, I always knew the song was rad. I had a great time. <laughs> Taylor loved it. <laughs>